Okay folks, welcome back to a quick video. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you here how I made an arrow dipper. First of all, what's an arrow dipper? An arrow dipper is something that helps you wood stain or coat a arrow with a protective layer. These are two arrows. This one is brand new from being made into an arrow shaft. This one has not. This one has been coated. It's been coated and semi-prepared for the next stage of arrow making. But to get it to this stage, you use an arrow dipper. And all it is, is a container filled with this. Two tins of this to be exact, into a 36 inch or three foot PVC tube. You can use a lot of different methods for this. Some people I've even seen use like a big long uh, vat like container and others just use something that's a lot like this but a lot thinner diameter. This is slightly thicker, it's um, slightly wider, it's a one and a half inch diameter and it's basically just filled almost at the top with Danish oil. At the bottom there is a cap. To get the cap on I've actually had to get this junction here to a cap here at the end but these have compression fittings on they look like got a little rubber gasket inside so it sort of tried to leak out and then it stabilized and didn't don't ask me why or how I'm not a plumber but basically none of it's leaked out over so it's actually done its job although it gave me a little bit of a fright when I saw a little bit come out for a moment and then it stopped and then there's a, you want to seal it up because depending on what environment you were in, you may get, you don't want any debris or foreign objects to get in here. And what I used for this, I had this handy rubber bung thing that I don't know what it's off. I just found it in a drawer. There's all sorts of stuff here. And then I just basically just super glued things around. So I got a little cord on it so it's not going to go anywhere. And inside is the, the real deal. That's what gets the job done. It's important not to fill your arrow dipper almost to the top actually. You want to you give it, depending on how wide your tube is, depending on how many arrows you want to do at once, you don't want it to have it full to the end, otherwise what happens is you start to put the arrow in and it starts to bubble up over and you don't want that. You want it so it's, it, it displaces the liquid but not so it's right over the top. And obviously when you've got it in place you want some way of securing it. I've got it secured with cable ties, holes into wood, blocks of wood at the bottom and more cable ties around there. It's not the prettiest, it's not exactly uh, the gold standard but it gets the job done and it's semi-temporary semi or semi-permanent so I can move it out of the way if I have to. This is the next stage in the arrow dipping. You want to basically have your arrows hanging up freely without touching anything at all if possible. You may notice I've got it touching the ends here but that's no issue. I'm going to have the arrow heads going into the end of these with the socket. So that's no problem. Now you don't have to do it this way. You can just lean them up against the wall like this or even on here like this. But ideally for the best possible finish. What I like to do is I like to hang them up freely like this. Now there's variants, variations of this. Some people have got like portable ones that they put together and they just have them hanging off a piece of wire and so on. But they all tend to come down to basically hanging freely from something. The best, most industrial way of doing it is where you've basically got like six or seven or eight or nine or ten all in a row with like a, a special device that hooks onto all six or all ten at a time and it dips them all in a big vat and lifts them out and hangs them but what I've got right now here is pretty much sufficient for, for my needs and what I produce. So all you need is a piece of wood, something to basically clear it from whatever it's hanging against because an earlier version of this was basically screws directly into the wood with a raised bit of beading, like a small, the sort of thing you'd use as 
decoration trim or something it wasn't enough it was just it was just about touching this so I thought right let's go with something and upscale it a bit and this that's what this is it's like a 1b1 and about 30 inch long and that's that's fine that, that keeps it clear and you can see right there look how much distance there is I mean there's all sorts of distance between there so it's not going to hit anything when I get further down you can just move things aside and that's what it is for uh, hanging it up to let it dry you can some people say these are ready to go within about 15 to 20 seconds nonsense not to the, not to a standard where you can lean it up against something it'll be tacky within about a few hours but no after seconds although most of it will be dry there'll still be some residue on it and uh, I forgot to mention this I think earlier but when you're drawing your arrows your shafts out of this you can just give it a wipe with tissue or you don't even have to well you don't have to wipe it with anything you could you could just bring it out and just hang it straight up but you're gonna have drip you're gonna have it dripping everywhere so what I like to do is you get something that will just basically wipe off all the ex excess as it's coming up so I sort of like have this over the top of this push the arrow up through it and then I basically just fold it around it and then just draw the arrow out and all the liquid just sluices back in here you actually save you actually save liquid in the long run doing it this way you can use rubber for it this is actually just plastic but it's very flexible uh, I sometimes put tissue over it as well so it's just a bit more so it just absorbs a little bit of it and stops it all just gushing around here but as you can see so far it's not too bad not really had much uh, heavy spillages so that's just a bit about arrow dipping a DIY arrow dipper. I don't know what the pro professional term is for it, but that's what everyone calls it. Thanks for watching my videos, folks. There'll be more to come soon. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, if you see anything that I could have improved on, or you think I should have done something a different way, please let me know and I'll uh, listen to constructive criticism.